Welcome to this chapter of Abacus. Uh, we are going to continue um, using the concept of big friends uh, that we learned in the previous video. Um, so let's just start directly. Let's jump right into doing some uh, calculations. Uh, the first one is 1 plus 9. 1 plus 9. Here we have one plus nine. As you can see there, we don't have enough beads. Five and three, which will make only eight. So what do we do? We do down big friend at once. So this is the ones column. Uh, here's the tens column. Down big friend at once. And carry one at tens down big friend at once carry one at tens one plus nine so what we did here is we found a big friend of nine uh, we used a big friend of nine uh, which is one so down big friend at once so down one and carry one at tens. Uh, you don't say up one at tens, you just say carry one, you're literally carrying it over. And here we get uh, the response. Uh, the answer is 10, one plus nine is 10. Now let's, let's redo that again um, so that you understand this concept well. Um, one plus nine so up one plus nine um we need to up nine we don't have enough beads on the ones column um so it's sort of like a formula um uh, you can make it as a song if you like um down big friend at once and carry one at tens so big friend of nine we know is one so down big friend at once down one and carry one at tens and you get one plus nine uh answer is ten let's try another one um seven plus four um so up seven <laughs> up seven plus four uh, we have uh, once again run into the same scenario we don't have four beads to up so we're going to find or use the big friend of four which is six so six so down six down six carry one at tens you notice we had seven here we down six five and one six which is a big friend of four and we carried one at tens and the answer is eleven uh, let's try that one more time for further clarification seven plus four five and two seven plus four and we don't have enough beads in the ones column so by using big friend of four which is six down big friend at once so down six at once down six at once carry one at tens carry one at tens and one and one and we have eleven Let's try some more uh, problems. Uh, five plus five, five up five plus five. Uh, as you can see again, um, we sure don't have enough beats. So, what's the big friend of five? It is five. And uh, so down big friend at once so down five 
carry one at tens, carry one at tens. Five plus five is ten. Let's do nine plus eight. So here we have nine. And we need to add eight. Um, now, the big friend of eight is two. So down big friend at once. So down big friend, down two. Down two. Carry one at tens. There we go. Nine plus eight is seventeen. There's ten plus five, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Let's do that one more time. Nine plus eight, so nine up nine plus eight. So we don't have enough beads, so we're gonna use the big friend of eight, which is two. So down two, carry one at tens, carry one at tens. We have. 9 plus 8 is 10, 15, 16, 17. 9 plus 8 is 17. Um, next um, is, is another concept um, wherein sometimes the big friend would need help from a little friend. Uh, you're probably wondering what am I talking about um, it's already confusing enough um, but if you practice over these concepts um, I assure you uh, it, it's not that difficult or complicated uh, you, you just need to visualize um, close your eyes and, and practice the visualization of uh, the bead movement uh, so let's let's go ahead and see what I'm talking about wherein the big friend may need help from a little friend. Let's try a problem um, five plus six. Five plus six, so up five plus six. Um, as you can see, there are not enough beads here. So what do we do? So. we find big friend of six. So the big friend of six we know is four. And the formula goes down big friend at once, carry one at tens, down big friend at once. But, well, wait a minute. We don't have any beads to go down. They're already down. So what are we gonna do? So now we're going to use the little friend of four Remember, we first used the big friend of 6, which is 4. And now we're going to go to the little friend of 4. And we know little friend of 4 is 1. So what do we do? We do up 1, down 5. And now we carry 1 at tens. Voila, what do we have here? 11. 5 plus 6 is 11. Let's try that again. 5 plus 6, up 5. Plus 6. So looking at big friend of 6, which is 4, so down big friend, carry 1 at 10s. Since we don't have enough beads to go down, in one's column, we're gonna use the little friend of four, which we know is one. So how do we use the little friend concept? We do up, little friend, down five. So up one, down five, and then we do carry one, and tens, and we get the answer. 11.
Let's try a couple more so you get this concept down well. 5 plus 8. 5 plus 8, up 5, plus 8. And we don't have enough beads, so we're going to look for the big friend of 8, which is 2. So it's going to. So what do we have now? Down to carry 1 at tens. Again, we're in the same problem. We don't have enough beads in one's column to go down. So we're going to look for the little friend of 2, which we know is 3. And the way that works is up little friend, so up 3, down 5, up little friend, 3, down 5, carry 1 at tens. Carry 1 at tens. And voila, 5 plus 8 is 13. Let's try one more, 7 plus 7, 7, so up 7, plus 7. And uh, we don't have enough beads, so we're going to look for the big friend of 7, which is 3. Now we don't have 3 to go down, so we're going to use the little friend of 3, which is 2. So, up little friend, down 5, so up 2, down 5. Carry one in the tens. Ooh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 7 plus 7 is 14. Uh, I'm going to reiterate. I may sound repetitious, but uh, continue practicing with your abacus. The numbers. Um, if you feel that um, you played enough. With our abacus, close your eyes um, and just visualize. Um, if you're a parent watching this video, um, read out the numbers to your child um, and let your child close his or her eyes and and visualize the bead movements. And the more you practice, the better you're gonna get the faster you're going to get eventually you will be able to do these additions at a very very fast pace um, we're going to go into some more detailed calculations in coming videos uh, just stay tuned uh, keep visiting the website back to check for updates uh, on the new videos as well as the practice worksheets